Hello, Coconut Creek family. I'm Mayor Lou Sorbonne. Today I'm going to talk to you about our charter amendments that are on the ballot in November. But first I want to tell you about the Charter Review Board. These are citizens, residents that were appointed by your commission to review our charter along with our city attorney and her team. They go through the charter basically line by line. They come up with anything that needs to be changed that's a conflict with other laws, and they also come up with some policy changes that they come to the commission with, present it to us, and we put it on the ballot. We have no choice. What they give us has to go on the ballot. The only choice we have is if we want to add anything to that. In my history as a commissioner, we have never added anything to what our Charter Review Board has recommended. These citizens work very hard, and I want to give them some kudos and thank yous for doing this for you and me, our Coconut Creek family. The Charter Review Board conducted a four-month review of the City Charter and as a result recommended 18 Charter Amendment questions for your consideration. I'll be highlighting six of them. These amendments are separate and different from state and county amendments that will also be on the November ballot. City Charter Amendment number six reads, shall the charter be amended to provide that the Commission may choose to fill a Commission seat vacancy at an election instead of by appointment if an election is already scheduled to occur within 180 days of the vacancy. To clarify, the proposed amendment would give the City Commission the choice to appoint a temporary commissioner within 30 days or choose not to appoint a temporary commissioner and have a new permanent commissioner elected at the next election. This may reduce government expenditures by reducing costs for training and onboarding a temporary commissioner that may serve only for a couple of meetings. City Charter Amendment number 8 reads, shall the City Charter be amended to provide that emergency ordinances expire as provided by state law and delete requirements that the City Commissioners be physically present to be considered in attendance or vote. To clarify this one, this amendment removes conflicts with state law regarding the length of locally declared emergencies and removes the requirement for commissioners to be physically present at a meeting in order to participate or vote in the meeting, which would eliminate conflicts and emergencies such as we've been experiencing during COVID and allows for adaptation for new technology in the future. The state law requirement that at least a quorum of the commission be physically present remains a requirement except as currently waived during the pandemic. City Charter Amendment number 10 reads, shall the charter be amended to require an ordinance for leases greater than 10 years and for acquisition of fee simple real property interests and to delete the requirement that administrative and technical regulations and contracts or leases extending beyond the fiscal year be approved by ordinance. This one needs clarification. This amendment may reduce government expenses on items such as short-term leases, internal operating regulations, and minor real property interests. The amendment would permit such items to be approved by resolution or where appropriate the city manager or contract administrator instead of by ordinance, which requires two readings and has associated advertising costs. City Charter Amendment number 16 reads, Shall the charter be amended to clarify procedures to initiate or repeal ordinances by vote of the city's voters, require that petitions to initiate such an election be signed by 5% of the registered voters as of the preceding election instead of the preceding municipal election, and require that actions approved through such a process remain intact for five years? Clarification. The proposed amendment creates a streamlined, easily understood, and user-friendly process for the current initiative procedure, which empowers voters to initiate ordinances or force the repeal of ordinances adopted by the City Commission. City Charter Amendment number 17 reads, shall the charter be amended to require review of the City Charter every 10 years, beginning in April 2030, with recommended changes presented to the voters at the next general, special, or municipal elections. To clarify, this amendment potentially reduces government expenditures. It changes the charter review requirement from five to ten years, but retains our ability to initiate a charter review earlier if needed. City Charter Amendment number 18 reads, shall the charter be amended to convene the redistricting board in July 2026, July 2032, and every ten years thereafter, and provide the redistricting board 120 days to conduct their evaluation. Clarification. This proposed amendment changes the redistricting board requirements from every five years to every ten years. This amendment realigns the date of the redistricting board to coincide with fresh census data. That's all I have for you today, Coconut Creek family. Remember, be safe, be healthy, and enjoy your family. Thank you.